What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing arguably the strongest starter in this game, Meow Scarada. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, let's go get on top of that. It takes about two seconds of your guys' time and it really helps me grow as a content creator. So if you want to stay up to date on all of my content, like I said, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I just want to go over a couple of things. If you guys have rental codes for me, make sure you guys get them to me. I would love to use fan made teams on the channel. So if you guys have Twitter, make sure you guys DM them to me over there or just tweet at me over on Twitter. That is the best way to get them to me but if you guys don't have twitter leave them in the comment section down below but sometimes i miss out on some comments so again twitter would be the best way but uh I'll, I'll accept some YouTube comments, but with that out of the way, we get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner with our first Pokemon for his team, and it is Annihilate, the new Primeape Evolution. Really cool Pokemon. It is Fighting and Ghost type with the Defiant ability, alongside with a Life Orb as item. So this Pokemon can hit very, very hard, especially if it gets Intimidated or Stat Drop, that Defiant will pop and make this Pokemon even stronger. It's got Rock Slide for coverage, Close Combat for Stab, Protect, and Rage Fist, and this Pokemon is also a Dark Terra type, so it can change Dark type and dodge some moves. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Talonflame, and I feel like Talonflame is going to be an absolute beast in the metagame, considering Gale Wings is really good, and it's just a really strong Tailwind setter. It's got the Covert Cloak as its uh, item, and I believe that's a new item in the game, so it stops additional effects from happening. So if I read it correctly, it can actually stop Fake Outs from happening, because, you know, Flinch is an additional effect, so it stops any additional effect. So, for example, say uh, we're going up against a Tyranitar, and he drops a Rock Slide, it has no chance of flinching on me because of that item. So, really cool item, I really do like it, and it's probably going to work out really well in certain situations. Talonflame over here has Will-O-Wisp, Fire Blitz, Tailwind, and Protect for its four moves. Middle left is going to be the heart and soul of this team. It is going to be Al Scarada. And like I said, a lot of people are saying this Pokemon is the strongest out of the starters for competitive play due to its ability, Protein, and its uh, move, Flower Trick. So hopefully we get to showcase this Pokemon, and hopefully it's really strong, like everybody is saying. It's got the clear amulet as item, and then it's got protect, knock off the takeoff items, which is also stab because it is a dark type. And it's got Flower Trick, and you turn the pivot out. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Rotom Wash. And I love Rotom Wash. Such a good competitive Pokemon all around. It's got great stats and its typing is phenomenal. It's got Levitate as its ability, Rockin' the Aguaf Berry as its item, and we got Hydro Pump, Protect, Nasty Plot, and Volt Switch for its moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be everyone's favorite Eevee evolution, Sylveon over here. Pixelate and the Throat Spray as its item. It's got Quick Attack, Hyper Voice, Yawn, and Protect. Really solid moves for that for any Sylveon. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy Grimmsnarl over here. And this Grimmsnarl has trick on it with the lag and tail. So we can actually take someone's item, give them the lag and tail, and make them completely like just slower than every other Pokemon. It also has Reflect, it has Light Screen, and then it has Spirit Break for its slowing some stab hitting move. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ladder, look to get some wins with this Meowskarada team. First match coming at you guys, going up against some strong Pokemon. We're going up against an Ancient Tusk team with Warring Move, the Dunsparce, and then a Liliganth with no Sunsetter. So maybe somebody has Sunny Day on it. Not too sure. He also has Slow King, which could set up a Trick Room really good in certain situations. And then last but not least, it is the Pokemon that we most recently showcased, Several Luge. Really cool Pokemon, really strong too. But how should we get after this one? How should we start it off? I'm thinking of maybe leading Maras uh, Miascarada, but I definitely want to lead Talonflame. I feel like speed's going to be a huge factor in this one. I'm going to go there, and I think I'm going to go Miascarada here. Because if he wants to go like Slow King, he can maybe set up a Trick Room. I can kind of just counter that with Miascarada and kind of roll after the battle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead both of them. Talonflame, Miascarada. I am going to bring Annihilate, but I really do like this Pokemon in this battle. Just a strong Pokemon all around. I do want to see its stats, though, because, again, this is a Pokemon that I never used before. 135 speed. That's eh. Its attack's really high, though. Its attack is really high. Let's see uh, Let's see Miascarada's stats. I heard they're really good. I heard they're really good. Yeah, 192 speed. Woo! Attack's high, too. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But I am going to bring in Annihilate in the back end. Where do I bring in the boy right here, Rotom? Rotom's not too bad. I'm definitely one Rotom. And then it's either Annihilate or Sylveon. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards Sylveon now that I think about it. I'm going to go Sylveon here. Like, looking at the team, I think Sylveon just gets a lot more value out of it. So, I'm digging that a lot. We'll use Annihilate in battle number two or in battle number three. But just want to give a huge shout out to everybody who has been enjoying this content. The views have been up. The subscribers have been up. The comments. I love commenting back to you guys. So, if you guys want to leave me a comment, say hi or chat it up in the comment section down below. I would love to comment back to you guys, but just want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers and all my new viewers here. Thank you guys so much for checking out all my Pokemon content. But let's get started here. Let's see who he's going to lead. Roaring Moon with Lilligan. 
Logan alongside with Roaring Moon. That's not too bad. I think Roaring Moon's Dragon and Dark, I believe. It's got the booster energy right here, so its attack's gonna be heightened, right? Yeah, so its attack's gonna be boosted here. And, hmm. Let's just go straight into Flare Blitz. I could. Tailwind could be good here. I could Will O Wisp as well. I do have Gale Wings at the moment. I do have Gale Wings at the moment. I'm thinking of just burning this thing. And then maybe just you turn it out. And then I could potentially set up uh, Tailwind next turn if I want to. So we'll see what he wants to do here. I'm going to U-turn out. I'm going to save my save my Miascarada for another turn. I'm just going to try to throw a burn onto this Roaring Moon. And he's Terrastalizing. That's just lovely. That is just lovely. But I'm not too sure if uh, this Pokemon right here is... Uh, oh, it changes a fairy. That's really cool. I think I'm U-turn out, but I'm not too sure if this Pokemon is uh, physical or special. This Willowis might be for nothing. And did we just miss that? Bro, get out of my face. Rough one there. We missed that. We switched to Bug type or Protean. And oh my god, we almost KO too. Protean changing us to Bug type to get some stab there. I love it. I love it. That wasn't even Sash. That wasn't even Sash. But I'm actually going to you. I can quick attack here. And plus, if he's changed to Fairy Terror type, I think he's going after uh, Miascarada. I could potentially eat up. He's going to go for a Dragon Call here. Oh wow. If he would have went into a Dragon Call into Silver Mouth slot, that could have been really good. Let's see what else. Palm Pop's going to come out here. We're gonna be able to eat up, and I might just tailwind here. Do we think that Talonflame is still faster than everybody on the field? I think it might be. 195. I'm just not too sure about the Roaring Moose speed. I am gonna go for a tailwind here. Then on top of that, I'm just gonna go for Hyper Voice. I mean, what's called did outspeed it? I mean, Yasukurata outsped the uh, Roaring Moon, so what's your speed? 192? Was this 195? Yeah, okay, so we're definitely outspeed. We're gonna be able to set up a tailwind this turn. Just wish we would have been able to, uh, to land at Will-O-Wisp last turn. That could have been really solid for us. He's going to end up withdrawing his Terra-type Pokemon. That's totally fine. And who are you going to go into? He's going to gonna toss onto the board here. It's going to be Serulage. Or S Serulage. I always, I always have trouble pronouncing that. And he's going to also swap to Logan. So we're going to see his whole team. Let's see who he's rocking here. It's going to be the Dunsparce. So he's going to do a double swap. We set up a lovely tail when speed's going to be in our favor. I'm going to pop Throat Spray here as well. Which is really beneficial for us. So Hyper Voice is going to pop here. It's going to be not very effective on one. It's going to do neutral damage to the other. And Throat Spray pops to give us a nice, lovely special attack boost. Gotta love it. Gotta love the Throat Spray, Sylveon. But from here, I could throw... I don't know what the Dunsparce is. So you know what? I'm just going to go here, Flare Blitz. And I'm just going to Hyper Voice again. I just think it's a solid play. I just think it's a solid play. He's going to Shadow Sneak into me. And I survive that. It's huge. Huge eat up for us. Flare Blitz going to be able to fly here. We're going to die to the uh, recoil damage. But I think Talonflame did awesome. I think Talonflame did great. Did lovely. The Talonflame drops out. And Hyper Voice should fly here first. And yo, you have a berry? Is that Citrus Berry? Yeah, he's Citrus Berrying up. So Citrus Berry is going to give him a bit more HP. And then Hyper Voice is going to fly here. Doing some nice damage. Love you, Sylveon. Hyper Joel coming in here. You should be able to soak that, right? Oh my god, you get a crit. Come, get, come on now. Come on now with the crits. That one hurts the soul, but... I think we should be fine. We got Rotom and we have Miascarada here. So I can go into you. I could go into you. And do I Terra type here? Hmm. I might Terra here. I might hit the Terra button. Who would I Terra though? I think I saved my Terra. I think we're fine here. I wish I had a double hitting move because I would love the Nasty Pot with you. Hmm. I can Volt Switch to KO here and I can also go for the knockoff here. I can also pick up the KO. I'm all about it. Let's just do that. Let's just pick up the easy double KO. Easy double KO. Now, is that a glitch? Look next to Meowskarada. Why is there just like... Why is that thing just floating there? You see that? Look, is that supposed to be its wand? It's just floating there? What is going on? Swaps in the low again, so we get the free KO there. Knockoff is going to uh, switch our typing to dark. Golly, send it that way. And now, are we straight dark type with Protean? Because we're normally dark type. I think it changes us to the straight dark type. So now I can actually Terra here as well. Now we take out the Dunsparce. I'm all about it. Yo, we're killing it. This is a solid battle. But he also has Roaring Moon. We gotta watch out for that and uh, Suru Ledge. Hmm. I would love to stay dark type, to be honest with you. I would love to stay dark type. I might not even Terra. I might not even Terra. The Suru Ledge comes out here. And so does Roaring Moon. And did we already do some damage? No, we didn't touch Roaring Moon. And yo, Terrasalization stays when you swap? 
I did not know that. That's actually really cool. It's actually really good to know. I think I'm just going to Nancy pot here. I'm just going to plot, and I'm just going to go take out this uh, Cerulege. That's my play all day. Actually, ooh, we should have probably changed the Grass typing. We should have changed the Grass. We should have Terrasalized there, because now he has a chance to take me out one shot, which I do not like. Not one bit. Not one bit, but Nasty Potting here could be really good. He's going to Shadow Sneak on me. I eat that all day. And then Knockoff's going to come out here, pick up the KO. But I should have Terrastalized just so we had a shot at eating up this uh, shot right here. But it really depends. Is he going to double down to my Miascarada? Is that his play? Are you doubling down in Miascarada? I'm plotting here. I'm setting up the Nasty Plot. It's a great battle. It's a really good battle. He's going to Terra Blast. So yeah, I think that takes me out, right? Bye bye, Miascarada. I should change the grass. I should have changed, but at this point, I'm just going to terrestrialize my Rotom here. I'm Nasty Plot it. I'm going to drop whatever move I want. I think it's a Water Terror type. Tailwind's gone, but Rotom should be able to eat. Should be able to eat. Get Terrasse here. When, oh, we Terrasse still into Electric. Now, what would do more? I think Bolt Switch would, right? Yeah. Terrassing would do double damage. What well, about it? So, I'm going to Bolt Switch into that. We're plus two. And we're just going to drop a nice little... I got to make sure I'm Terrasalizer. Yeah, cool. I'm going to Terrasalize here. I think Roar Moon outspeeds us. But, but again, I think we should be able to eat. And then with that plus two, the Terras and the Stab on top of that. Should be able to KO, I'm thinking, right? I'm a boy here. As long as we don't die in one shot. I have an odd feeling we would die in one shot. But nothing's super effective up against us. We can't get hit by a ground move. We're going to Dragon Claw me. Can you eat that, please? Thank you. Oh, you can probably eat another one. I love you, Rotom. Killing it. Make this happen. Big time damage coming in here. And, oh, we don't pick up the KO. A Terra Blast might be able to KO us. Actually, I don't think so. I think Dragon Call does the most damage. He goes for a Terra Blast. Can you soak that, please? Can you soak that, please? You do, Rotom. I am in love with you. I am in love with you. I am in love with you, Rotom. Big time soak from Rotom. Bolt Switch going to come out here. We're going to pick up the KO. Thank the Lord we set up a nasty spot. Great play by us. And we take battle number one. What a first battle to get this video started. That first battle could not have went more perfectly. I absolutely love that battle. Glad I got that one on recording, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. But we're hopping into our second battle for today's video. Going up against a Dragapult, and then he's got the Iron Futuristic Delibird, which I heard is actually really good. He's got the Ancient Jigglypuff, Annihilate, Torkoal for Sunsetter, and then he's got Sylveon, and I already said Annihilate. So how should I play this one? Do I go into like a Grimstorm, or I can go in with Tailwind again. I kind of like the ta the Talonflame Miascarada lead. It's just super strong all around. Annihilate's pretty strong here as well. I do kind of dig Annihilate. I might go in with same Pokemon. I might go in, I definitely want to go same lead. I'm really liking this lead. The ability just like you turn out with Miascarada is really good. I'm going to bring Annihilate in this battle, and then either Rotom or Sylveon. We'll keep Grimstorm in the back end for this game. What do I want to roll out with here with? I mean, Sylveon's not too bad. Is that Delibird Steel-type? I feel like it looks Steel-type because it's, like, all metal, but I'm not too sure. Rotom could be solid, but the only problem would be with the Sun, and the Sun's kind of annoying with the Torkoal. Hmm. I think Sylveon's going to be your play, even though Rotom came in clutch in that last battle. So clutch. So clutch. I wish I would... Like I was saying, I wish I would have uh, terrestrialized my Miascarada, but everything worked out perfectly. I feel like we might have not had a chance if, say, we terrestrialized that Miascarada and it still died. Because we needed that extra damage boost from that Volt Switch to do a lot of damage to that Roaring Moon. But that Roaring Moon can soak. That was a plus two Nasty Pot road time. Terrasse into Electric. Dropping Volt Switches. I think it was just eating. It was eating all day. But he's going to end up sending out Jigglypuff and Dragon Ball. So I don't mind my lead at all. So I just Tailwind this play? But yo, this Jigglypuff's huge. This Jigglypuff's huge. I think Knockoff's got to be our play, right? Went into a Knockoff and into a uh, Tailwind. I mean, even though we outspeed, we do outspeed. I just think setting up the Tailwind for the rest of the squad is going to be good for us. The Tailwind's going to come out here. I think Dragapult looks amazing in this game. He looks like the the graphical, the graphics with him. Oh, I thought we missed for a second. Because it was like slow down, but Miascarada is just ripping on Pokemon. <laughs> Look how good Dragapult looks. He looks really good. Miascarada is just ripping. Let's see what Jigglypuff does. Let's see what Jiggles does. He's going to set up a Reflect, so... I don't really know too much about some of these ancient and futuristic forms. But Jigglypuff's looking pretty cool. Got a wicked hair, though. But Miascarada just said, see you later. Takes that out. Um, I'm just going to pivot out here with a U-turn. Get a little U-turn action going here. Save Miascarada. 
What could Taras me, Ascarada? I'm thinking of doing. That could Taras allow you to grass. Just so this fairy doesn't affect us too much to go after Sylveon. I'm kind of all about that. I know you have Reflect. I might throw a Burn on this thing. I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw a Burn right on this, this Pokemon. Thumb to Rasslizing. Just so this uh, little booger of Sylveon doesn't just tee off on my Miascarada. We're going to do a solid Grass type here. Which I really like. I really like. The Miascarada coming here. This Pokemon is super strong. Really strong out of stars. He's going to Protect. Smart little Protect. But let's see what he does with the Jiggles though. A little bit of splash here. We connect it. Beautiful. Lovely. And we're just going to send some chip damage over on the Jigglypuff. Because Reflex and stuff are out. So chip damage is going to be going to be nice for us. Blabber trick comes through here. It is blocked. I do like the uh, the competitive scene without uh, Dynamax. Even though Dynamax I kind of like. Ooh, sets up a trick. Ooh. Fancy plays. Sets up a trick room. I still have Gale Wings though. I do still have Gale Wings. So I'm going to go first this turn. But yeah, I really do like... Uh, the competitive team without thoracization. It was a good concept, but overall, I just feel as uh, as without Dynamax, it's a lot more fun. He's gonna end up withdrawing the Jiggles. So Jigglypuff gets the withdrawal here. Who are you gonna go into? Who is his final Pokemon? It's gonna be Torkoal. So Sun's gonna get set. It's gonna make my Flare Blitz do 10 times more damage. Big fan of that. But, but we got a problem here. And the problem is Torkoal and Trick Room is a pain. It is a tough little booger. Oh, you have Terras Fire type? You have Terras. Okay, that's pretty cool. This thing has Terras Fire type. We're probably Mystical Fire. Oh, or just Terra Blast. So we're going to say bye bye to Miascarada. You're dead. A great play by him. A great play by him. That was a lovely play. Wow, we were sitting in a good spot. That match changed like that. Snap of the fingers. Changed instantly. I thought we were in a really good spot. Webbutt's going to fire. It's not going to do too much damage. Wow, dude, that match changed fast. That changed fast. But uh, from here, we could go into Sylveon of Rune. Drop a Yawn. I do have Annihilate. This sucks, man. <laughs> this sucks because uh, we can really do a lot here. I feel like we just uh, double protect and we drop a Yawn. Or I just protect and Yawn. I feel like that's our play. We got to waste out these Trick and Turns and maybe put you to sleep. I'm going to protect the Talent Flame here. I feel like he's dropping Eruption, right? It seems like it's an absolute must. Eruption comes out here. I feel like Sylveon's got to be doubling down into Talonflame. Let's see what he does. Eruption looks sick. That looks sick. Please double down into Talonflame. Hyper Voice coming out here. You should be able to eat this up, Sylveon. I have a lot of faith in you. I have a lot of faith in you. Let's go, Sylveon. Big time eat up. We're going to be able to drop a yawn here. This thing has throat spray. It's starting to tee off really good. So we're going to yawn here. I'm going to protect Sylveon this turn. And what do I do from here? Definitely got to protect Sylveon. And I don't even know what I do. I don't even know what I do. How many turns left in Trick Room? Three? Two? Two. That ain't too bad. I could definitely see a swap maybe from the Torkoal. So I'm just going to do this. No, he does not swap. He does not swap. I could have went for a double protect. Your option's gonna come out here. I'm gonna say bye bye to Talonflame. Torkoal's gonna go to sleep, which is the, the best part about this. So it gives us a shot. It gives us a shot. Wow, yo, that eruption did way too much damage. Hyper Voice comes out here. Who do I have in the back end? I have Annihilate. Hmm. I have Annihilate. Torkoal to sleep, which is big. This battle, mm, not looking good, not looking good. Reflex going, that's big for us though. Round physical attacker, what's your speed at? 135, what is yours at? Mm, don't like that one bit. Wish I had my terrestrialization. We were sitting so good, we were sitting so good. He brings out the torque and changes the tides. Um, From here, I guess we gotta go for hyper voice, right? I mean, it's our best bet. We're gonna go for hyper voice. And then I'd rather just go for like a, a rock slide here. Yeah, super effective rock slides popping out here. Let's see how this one plays out. That was a big play for us to get that Torkoal to sleep because I feel like we have a chance here. He's going to swap the Torkoal, so Torkoal didn't even waste a turn of sleep. And he's going to go into his next Pokemon, which is going to be... going to be Jiggles. 
So Jiggles comes out here to probably get the yep the, the protosynthesis and to probably uh oh special defense gets boosted too. But I know he wants to uh, set up the reflect again, which could be good for him. The reflect could be good. The spray triggers. I see a hyper voice just popping out here. Hopefully this life orb can do some mean old damage to these Pokemon, and we'll see. Hyper voice comes in hot, and that takes me out. Annihilate is gone. Annihilate is gone, yo. Battle number two. Little rough one. We start off really strong. We start off really strong, but I think that's my first loss from recording. Not too bad. One and one for today's video. Let's hop into our third and final. Look for that winning record. The plays from our opponent in that last battle. They were spot on. Again, like I said, we were sitting there in a really good position. My Miascarada picked up an easy KO onto the Dragapult. He came out there. I was like, I was just like, yo, we could Terra and pretty much win this battle. But nope, he terrestrializes, he swaps in the weather, something I would have never guessed. And he ends up winning that game. That's what's so good about Scarlet and Violet. I feel like there's just so many options and so much different things you can do with terrestrialization. It just makes every game never over. But third and final battle, we're going up against a Shen Pao and another Roaring Moon team with Sylveon. We've been seeing a lot of Sylveons today. We've been seeing a lot of Sylveons. But he also has a Farigaraf, the new Giraffe Rig. Pokemon, Tauros, and Dragonite. But uh, I kind of want to go Grimstone here. I'm going to lead Grimstone. Could going to also lead it with Miascarada. I really like Miascarada. I really do all around. Just, I feel like it's such a good lead every single time. I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave Miascarada because I can always U-turn Pivot. I can always U-turn Pivot with this Pokemon. Sylveon's going to be solid in this battle. And then I'm going to bring Annihilate and give him another shot here. I got to give Annihilate another shot, you know? Even though we'll definitely use Annihilate again down the road and fully showcase him. But this video is more so all about Miascarada. I want to show off the starters. We definitely got to get a, a, a Qua Quavel team. Quax Quavel. Way Quavel. How do we pronounce that Pokemon? I'm still having trouble with that one. <laughs> But I got to get a team out for you guys. Let's see who he ends up sending out. Roaring Moon. Oh, dude. Sylveon could have been a beauty. Sylveon could have been a beauty. Roaring Moon alongside with Dragonite. So, booster energy. Get the Proto-Synthesis rocking out here. And... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Or at least, I don't know if they're physical or uh, special. But I feel like uh, Reflect is an absolute must. I could also Trick turn one. I'll set up the Reflect. I'll Trick next turn. And I think I just you turn out. He protects. How dare you? How dare you protect? Reflect is still going out here. Bob. Yeah, Grimstar looks good too in this game. I really do like how he looks. I'm going to U-turn. It is going to get blocked. I'll U-turn next turn again because I do change the bug type. We can do some mean damage with that. But Dragonite's kind of scaring me. I, think, I feel like he's going for a dragon move into me. Or, or doing that. I don't like that one, but that's a solid turn from him. I feel like I have to give him the lagging tail at this point, right? I feel like I have to give him the lagging tail. I'm just going to trick him, give him the lagging tail, and I'm just going to U-turn again. I'm out of here. I am dipping with Miascarada. But a Dragon Dance, Dragonite. Looking tough, but again, Reflect and Light Stream is going to help us out tremendously. And if I can give him the lagging tail, that could be big. Because if I can give him the lagging tail this turn and swap into Sylveon, I think that's a solid turn from us. So he withdraws that Pokemon. That's fine. I just need somebody I can hit with this bug move. It's going to go into... Shen Pao. So Shen Pao coming in here. Sword of Ruins popping. He's ready to rock it. And he's terrestrializing. He is terrestrializing. And I feel like after I give it the lagging tails, I can still switch out. He's going to steal. That's not good. That's not good for my Sylveon. Not one bit. He's going to take out my Grimstone, though. With this Terror Blast. We trick it, though. We're going to say, hey, yo, here you go. Here's a little trick action. <clears throat> We're going to take its item. What is it? Orb, maybe? What item you got, buddy? You did have the life orb. So we take its life orb. He's going to get the lagging uh, tail. And, oh, wow. He swapped into Shen Pao with that one. I just realized it was super effective. And we get some nice damage off on the Shen Pao. Some big damage on the Shen Pao. But uh, from here, I could go into here and just quick attack the Shen Pao. Should be able to do enough damage to take the KO. Because so I would think that the, the steel type is going to go after the uh, my Grimstar, right? I think the Steel type has to go, to go into my Grimstone, right? The Iron Heads, yeah, that's gonna take on my Grimstone. Unless Reflect can help him out. No shot. Reflect does not help him out. Reflect was no bueno, so I could bring in Annihilate here. Annihilate could be good, but the only problem with Annihilate is a, uh, a Sucker Punch just knocks him out. Miascarada could be solid. I'm gonna go into Miascarada. Miascarada. Get this Pokemon out here. I might just terror this thing in the grass. I'm thinking of just terror into grass and going after that, maybe. 
I don't know. I'm trying to get. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I don't think I'm gonna Terra. I really don't think I'm gonna Terra. I think I just wanna do that. And just KO this thing with a quick attack. The big time quick attack KO. I'm liking that all day long. And then Flower Trick should be able to outspeed, right? Yeah, Flower Trick coming out here. Did we miss that? Oh no, we changed our typing to grass. How do we change our typing to grass? It makes no sense. Makes no sense. We do a decent amount of damage. It crits every time, I believe. Yeah. And he's going to go into an Iron Head and take out Sylveon, right? Or are you going after me, Asuka? No, you're going to take out the Sylveon. So Sylveon's dead. I have my Annihilate left. But it is really good that we got rid of that Pokemon right there. That Shen Pao. So I can go into Annihilate. And I can Terrasilize him. Maybe just pr protect my Miascarada, depending on who he goes into. I would think maybe like Roaring Moon comes out here, right? He gonna throw out. It is going to be the Roaring Moon. I could U-turn. I think I might just U-turn for damage. I might just U-turn for damage. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna U-turn for damage. I am going to Terrasse here into my Ghost. I could just go straight for a Rage Fist. And close combat is super effective, so I might just stick with a close combat here. Oh, it's close. super effective up against both. You know what? I'm just going to close combat into the Dragonite. Of course, he protects that thing. Hurts a little bit. But we're going to get after it. He might take out my Annihilate here. U-turn, getting off some nice damage. Half damage, which is big. That's a really big turn from us. Breaking Swipe coming in here. I'm fine with that. I have the clear amulet on my uh, Miascarada, so it won't drop it. But I'm defying on this thing as well. Wow, that could have been such a big turn. This close combat could have KO'd there. But I feel like he has to protect you, right? I feel like he has to protect. I don't know. Do I really want to drop my defense though? This Rage Fist might be able to KO. I'm thinking Rage Fist can KO now. Let me see if this movement fell. More times it's been hit by attack, the greater the move power. It's stack. I've already been hit once. Um, hmm. Not too sure. I've already been hit once. Let's go into the Rage Fist. Because I really don't want to drop my defense, but I think we just close combat. I think we just close combat here. Morning Moon might protect, but let's see how this one plays. Did I Terrasilize? I Terrasilize. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know I Terrasilize. That's rough. That is rough. And I just wiped my nose, and I have a bloody nose. I, I don't know how, but I don't really see it too much. But, but that's just lovely, isn't it? While we're playing some Pokemon, it's all good. It's all good. We're chilling here. We're chilling here. I could have predicted the protect, but I feel like I had to throw a U turn on there regardless. But close combat's gonna outspeed. This is big time for us. That's big time for us. That is huge because Meowskarad outspeeds. It can KO that thing at any time. And yo, can we Define Pop on that? Can you need to find. That would have been sick. If you can Define Pop off your own close combats. But hopefully, you guys don't see my bloody nose. Hopefully, it's not like running down. I can't really see myself too well through my face cam. But if you guys see it, then you guys see it. That was through a reflect too. I terrestrialized and I didn't even I didn't even know I did it. <laughs> but it's all good. He's gonna bring out Tauros. And Tauros has intimidate, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Clear amulet and defiant. That is just so big. That is just like the perfect combination up against these things. But yeah, just gonna U-turn here. But I know that can KO you. And I just straight up close combat, but Rage Fist would look sick, right? I kind of want to use Rage Fist. It looks a lot cooler. I'm U turning out of here. We're going to take out the Roaring Moon. We are killing it, yo. Meowskarada is so good. It is such a good Pokemon. And then Close Combat's going to fly from Tauros. And. Oh, we're Dark type. Mm. That's fine. This defense is going to drop. And I have Flower Trick. I think I should still win this battle. Because this is a Water type Tauros. There's three different types of Tauros in this game there's Fire, Fighting, and I think Water, right? Are those the three? I believe. But this one is Water. You can see by its little blue on its little bottom fur. But I can just straight up flower trick here. And I hate how it says you turn super effective when it's not. But I'm going to flower trick here. I think I'm in grass type. I'm not too sure where my protein's at. But flower trick's going to pop out here. That's going to be GG's, yo. Miascarada killing it in that final battle. Same thing with that uh, Annihilate. And we grab ourselves a winner record for today's video.
two and one for today's video you guys gotta love it miasco Vada was absolutely amazing and i kind of just showcased why it is the strongest starter in the game i'm not saying it is the strongest starter but i'm saying it might be considering a lot of people are saying that and it seemed really strong in today's video the reason i don't know yet is because i haven't used the quaxley final evolution starter yet i use skelliger i use miascarada and miascarada is 10 times better than skelliger on the rank battle but this team was a lot of fun two one like i said we grabbed you guys a winning record we got to showcase the annihilate talent flame was really good i feel like sylveon is actually really really strong in competitive doubles it's just a great pokemon all around has some good support moves has first turn priority just great typing with the fairy and I just feel like it's a great Pokemon all around. You got Rotom coming up, clutching battle number one. And then you also have Grimstone popping that trick, handing over to Lagging Tail and just doing some work. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.